Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 8 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. And as always, like and comment, let me know how I'm doing, and subscribe for more videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode 8 here. So we are just taking a look at uh, one of the Boston to Brockton buses. And as you can see, it is in uh, serious need of replacing. And it kind of brings me to Brockton in general. If we zoom out here, Brockton is kind of, uh, it's kind of our forgotten city. It has this little bus line running uh, back and forth between Boston and uh, Brockton. But other than that, we haven't done anything with Brockton. And I'm sure the, the residents of Brockton have probably been a little annoyed to see this high-speed rail running right by their city for... Uh, I don't know, probably like 10 years now. And uh, I'm sure that they, you know, they've kind of felt left out. They're not getting any goods delivered. You know, they they don't have any high speed access to other cities. I mean, imagine if you're in Brockton and you want to, you know, go down to Newport. You know, what, what do you, like, how are you even going to get there? So I don't even think there's a road connection. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, they're isn't even a road connection to get down to Newport. So that you'd have to take this this old decrepit bus, you know, all the way up to Boston and then take the train down passing your city and make it down to Newport. So I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to help out Brockton. And that brings me to a comment that uh, I read from Craig Lawrence on the last video uh, talking about kind of the difference we were, we, were, we were discussing the difference between direct high-speed routes and then uh, routes that stop more locally. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this existing Boston um, to Newport line. I'm going to leave that in because that's, that's a very high-speed line and it runs direct. It gets up to speed. And then I'm also going to put in a station here, branch off from this high speed and have a line running from Boston to Brockton and then Brockton down to Newport. And we'll see how the demand for all these lines looks when it's, uh, when it's all said and done. So in order to do that, we're just gonna kinda edit Brockton a little bit because I wanna get a station in. I wanna try and fit one in right here so we can branch off. So let's see if we have enough space to do that. Let's see, we could connect it like that. Kind of bends a little bit. I really don't like that connection. So let's see, if I put this road in maybe like that and then we could curve it in. that that's still not a great intersection but uh it, it'll it'll work for what we're trying to do so let's uh let's actually give this some bus lanes just thinking ahead we're gonna give brockton a nice rework here and then let's get a terminus passenger station i'll do two sections high speed and i want it to be electric and we'll just put that right here Right here in the center of that road and you can see now that that's not really going to give us a ton of space to work with but i i think we can make it work i'm going to come through here i'm going to delete this road out just for now and i will reconnect that because you know i have a i have a thing about wanting people to realistically be able to drive and now let's see what kind of speeds we can maintain here like if i just went right in there yeah, it would, it would do 145 down to 99 on its way in. I'm not so much concerned about it getting slowing down going into the station. I'm more concerned with it staying at speed as it exits this track. It's like if I grabbed it from there, you can see that that would have to slow down a lot. And I don't want the train to sit in this block, if that makes sense. So let me think about this. 
what I might honestly do is I can maintain... Oh, and uh, a big shout out to... Oh, I forget who it was. But he commented on the last video that if I don't hold shift, I think it was it was like something like B Baker. If I hold shift, like you see how it's snapping here? If I hold shift, it frees it up so it doesn't snap. That's really nice. So one thing that I might do, it's just not very realistic to relay out this track just to get another connection in here. So you know what? I'm not going to do that. We're going to say that the track is where it's going to be and we'll just have to make it work. So let's see, if I run it like down to there. So it looks like 124 might be the best we can get here. 124 miles an hour on the exit. That's not 123. That's not bad. I can deal with uh, I can deal with that. So we'll bring it off here like that. They'll maintain 123 miles an hour on that exit, and then we can bring them in. And then if we kind of do the same thing back here. So we got 167 there. I'll take that. So we'll come off like that. And now if I bring this in... Actually, I want to get myself a little bit of... space, I think, to do a... See if I can fit a cross in there. So we can fit a cross in there, and then I can branch these off. And connect these in. So if we come up here, and I would love for this to snap on this side of the road. So let's see if we can get that to happen. Like that. Now I need to kind of do the same thing over here. So if we bring this inside track down just a little bit. And it doesn't really like that. So let's, uh, let's keep trying here. go and now we can get these connected like that and now this will allow trains hopefully to exit off this high speed line maintaining a good amount of speed and then they can slow down in here to actually get into this station so let's just take a look at some signals here I do want these to be one way and I'll probably put them right before this merge. And then again, right before this merge. There we go. And then I think I'll move this set right down here as well. Yeah. And then I'll probably move this set 
right down here as well. Like that. And then this one is close enough. Okay. So now that's set up. So now let's think about running a bus line through Brockton here. So I think we'll probably add bus lanes. Maybe going like this through the city. And then maybe back up this road. Let me see how far a uh, bus stop reaches. So from here, yeah, it reaches to about the center. Just run some bus lanes right there. And now we can go ahead and get some bus stops on here. So we'll have one here. Let's see, that catches to about here. So maybe we'll have another one right here. One right here. And then maybe another one here. And now we can go ahead and set up a new line here. So this one will be our counterclockwise bus line. So this will be B for buses, Brockton, uh, bus to train, counterclockwise. And then this will be the clockwise clockwise one. So now we'll come through here, we'll add some stops. And we'll go the counterclockwise version. So we're just going to come around here like that. I like that green, so let's try and uh, let's try and get these the same green. I think it's that one. And now if we come in here, we can get some buses on there. So why don't we get two on each? So I'll buy four, put these on the clockwise, and then put these on the counterclockwise. And now I'm gonna sell all of these buses and delete this line altogether. So we can get rid of that bus stop. And then I think up here that was running into this stop at the train station. This is kind of an odd bus route. Boston's kind of developed weird. This, uh, you know what? Getting distracted. We'll come back to it later. Okay, so now we've got buses bringing people up here to the train. So now let's establish a new line running up here to Boston, and we actually need to add a new platform in here. And the way that I think I'm going to try and do that, let's just let this train clear out. Is I think I'm going to add a platform here on this side. I just think it would be easier because this set of tracks I really don't know how I'm going to do it with the way that this is laid out, but I envision it going out to Worcester. And this cargo line running right in front of it might make that difficult, but that is going to be a job for another day, for sure. So we'll add another platform in there, and we might have to move this crossing. So let's see, if I add that in here, I would then need to put a crossing going back the other way. Because if I make this a double switch, I want to get rid of these signals. Oh. Just 
breaking everything here. So if I get rid of that, put this back in, like that, make that a double switch, and then add some signals in here, like that. So now those lines function. It's kind of a weird interchange here, uh, but it will work. So now if we come in here and we add a stop here, yep, that should work. And now we'll do 60 seconds at each of these. Like that. Uh, that green color? I don't mind it. So we'll leave it, and that's this is going to be the Boston to Brockton line. So if we come in here and change this, this will be Boston to Brockton. And now I think we probably could use with a another siding for this. Um, and I don't necessarily know where I'm going to put it. I could probably put it in like right here. So if we grab a track, let's take a look at what the terrain's doing here. Yeah, we got a little bit of terrain, so can't go there. Maybe down here, though. So if I come through... If I branch a track off here. And then I bring this out and throw a siding in here. My hope is that this will, will be able to get onto both of those lines, but we'll see. And I want a non-one-way signal right here. So let's see if I can get a train on here. So if I just buy... I'm going to buy a really uh, cheap train real quick and just see if I can get that onto this line. Yes, I can. Okay. So now let's figure out what kind of train we want on here. Probably... Something of moderate speed, so maybe one of these New Havens. And then we can come in here, that New Haven goes 87. So probably these uh, New Mexicos. And why don't we get maybe four? <laughs> and it's, it's not able to find it. Oh man, I thought it would. Okay, so if that's not going to work, we can just uh, delete this. So let's go ahead and sell that train. We can delete this out. Let's see, I think we've been using like this siding for all of these trains. So we could really use with another one. So with that being the case, let's find a nice flat area, maybe in here. And we can go ahead and add a siding in there. So if I come in here with a nice high speed track. Bring that out here. Spin this around and now this should totally work.
and we'll add that in there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and buy our train. It's gonna be one of these new havens. I think we said four of these. Unable. There we go. Non one way signal right there. Okay, now. There we go. Okay. So now that line now has train on it. So if we exit out of this and we come into this Boston to Brockton line, that has a train on it. So we should start to see passengers showing up at these stations to go down to Brockton. Eventually. It's going to gonna take a minute but it should work and now let's get this other line established running down to Newport and let's see here I don't know if I want to add another station on here I kind of do just don't know if I have enough space to do it Newport's pretty congested here. I think what I could do is come in here and actually add on another track. Now we can add our one-way signals. Like that. And then I guess I could bring this track all the way over here. And then we could add another platform in on this side. And we could connect that in there. So now if we add a station and we come up here and do passenger, it'll branch itself off right there. And I think that'll work. So now if we go wait for full for 60 seconds, and this will be our rail line from Brockton to Newport. And now we just need to get a train on this line. Which I think means I'm going to have to build another siding. So if we do that, Maybe here. Let's see, I don't really have enough, I don't really have a ton of space to do this. So maybe if I branch that off there and just kind of bring it, pull it down here see if we can fit this in. I think it's going to be too close. That's going to be just a little bit too close. So let's see. I can go a little bit further. Pull this a little bit further. Put that in there. Throw in our extra track. Put a non-one-way signal right there. And now I should be able to get a train onto here, no problem. I will make this a double switch. Doesn't really need to be, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. Now let's get another train. I think we'll 
just do the same exact terrain that we did on the Boston to Brockton route, and we'll throw that on this line. And I think we'll switch these. So this will be on platform one, and then this will be on platform two. And just like that, we got 40, 44 people wanting to go, 46 wanting to go up to Brockton. That's great to see. And then we got 34 that want to go down to Brockton from Boston. So that's great. I think that this is going to work. And I think there will be minimal interference here with this line. Um, especially now that we already have... Let's see, where did that train go? Yeah, it's already down here. Let's see if I can... I want these to be one ways. Place existing, yes. I don't know. Not letting me do it, but... Anyway, so we're going to come in here. I'm just going to replace these with one-way signals. Like that. Let's see, I'm going to put a non-one-way right here, just to stop it in case there was somebody passing through. But now this train should get right up to speed and make its way down to Brockton. I think that this should work really well. And you can see we've got people who want to go on both sets, so that's good. Meanwhile, this train, already at max speed, can just fly right through and just go straight down to Newport. Great, so I think, I think that's going to work uh, really well. We'll just see how the passenger numbers do. And you can see that we still have a ton of people that want to go up to New... Go straight to Boston, regardless of this new stop. So I think that right there just shows us that this is going to work the way that we want it to. And honestly, I could probably modify this vehicle and make it bigger. Just with those passenger numbers, 400 and some... Yeah, and then 400 some, so why don't we do that? Let's come into this line and maybe add... I kind of want to bring this up to full capacity and see how it does. It should still get up to speed. I think 99 miles an hour is its top speed. And now we got people taking these buses, which is great. Again, the buses aren't going to make money. They're just not. And let's see. Yeah, so that beat it through. Perfect. Part of me is actually wondering if these signals are useful. Like, if I want to prioritize this high-speed rail getting through here... Do I want these signals this close? Because if trains are neck and neck, I want the inside train to always win out. So you can comment uh, after the video or right now while you're watching and ask me if what I'm about to do makes sense. But if I put, if I put these signals here in the center rather than right next to it, what I think is going to happen is if a train is in here, and even if it's right here, so it's just past this signal, and this train is all the way up here, this train will stop and let this train through. I could be wrong with that, but I think that's going to work. The way that I intend, anyway. Maybe. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. I think that's going to work the way I intend. But we'll see. Okay. So continuing on with Brockton, we're going to try and give Brockton everything it needs in this episode. So fuel and food. Food we can already do. We have a food processing plant here, and that's a pretty easy truck route to get food over there. So I think we're going to do that. It might mean that we need to bring in the second grain. Um, but as of right now, 
And let's actually come in here real quick and see. Maybe we can get away with adding a couple more vehicles. Maybe three more to deliver grain. And then this could probably use with at least one more. I'm going to put two more delivering food down to uh, Falmouth. But anyway, we're bringing a, a pretty decent amount of grain up here. And I think that we can get away with trucking more... Uh, trucking some of this grain over to Brockton. So we'll add this stop in here. And then we have this road, and I might come in and just try and tie it right into this road. Following some of these contours. So, if we get our road, we get one of these country roads... Kind of branch it off here. It's a little, little steep. So let's see if we can make this a little bit... Uh, a little bit gentler of a way down here. Let's just see where I'm going. Yep, I'm going right there. So we'll just work our way down this hill. And then I want to, let's see, I want to prioritize this food movement. So I need to back this up just a little bit just to get a nice curve on this road. Just like that. And then we'll take this and we'll just branch that right back in there. There's actually one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to connect this back up. And I know it doesn't really matter, but I would like to. So why don't we come straight across there. Connect that in. Totally not necessary. Nobody's ever going to drive out here. Um, but I... I just like to, you know, think that, you know, somebody... Somebody has to work over here, and they probably live in Brockton. So how are they going to get there? They're going to drive. Anyway. So we'll come through here. I'm just going to smooth some of this out just a little bit. And then I'll come back and kind of clean it up uh, off camera. So we'll smooth a little bit of this out. Smooth a little bit of this out. Just like that. Okay. So now we have a route to deliver some food into Brockton. So if we come in here and think about where this food needs to be delivered, right here, it's actually really convenient because they're gonna come in on this road. I might have them drop like right here and then exit out of the city. So if we establish a new line from this food processing plant, and we just come right up here. That's not, I don't know, because I see what it's doing. It's using the its using the bus lanes to drop it. Yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's okay. Now let's do a, no, I don't want to use orange because we're going to do fuel with orange. Maybe that blue was, maybe blue is okay. So we'll do blue. And I want these trucks to wait for a full load forever before they come up here. And this is going to be Falmouth to Brockton food. We can get some food delivered in here. So now why don't we grab a couple of these trucks, cargo trucks. Let's see, we're moving food. So I think we're gonna have to use these box trucks. Maybe we'll get four to start and we'll get them on that line and now this should start to recognize yeah Brockton for food it's gonna start to put some food on there and I think we could probably get away with a few more vehicles on here so why don't we add maybe three more to deliver grain
And these trucks should make their way up here. I also just inadvertently made a road connection. Where are these guys going? Are they going down here to Falmouth? Yeah, they are. All right. I mean, if that's what they want to do. But anyway, so these trucks are going to come up here and they are going to start picking up some of this food and taking it back over to Brockton, which is great. So we're going to get we're going to get some food into Brockton, not a ton, but some. And it's uh, it's a start. And now I think we're going to get some fuel in here and we have a refinery down here, a couple oil wells and a refiner or an oil refinery over here. So I think we're going to make a just a little train line to move the crude and the refined oil back and forth. And then I think we're gonna do this with the trucks. Bring it right over there. So to do that, let's come in here. Let's put in a, this only needs one platform. Let's actually take a look at our terrain before we do this. We do have a little bit of terrain to deal with, but it's not too bad. Actually, now that I get down here, it's a little bit more significant than I thought, so maybe we'll go around this way. I was going to go this way, but we'll go that way. So if I kind of spin this around... And just put that in right there. And now we can kind of come in here with... Uh, let's see, where's the gravel at? Gravel 3, I think, is the one that I... We'll just clean that little corner up. So now we have a station in here, and it has high-speed electrified, which is not what we... That's not what we want. We want regular unelectrified, so we're going to throw a diesel train on here. So now we'll grab a stop here and we'll do non-electrified standard track. And now let's take a look at this terrain again. So we'll probably sweep in here. So maybe something like this. Like right there. And now I'll come in here with the country road and just add the road in after the fact. Like that. And now that's in catchment there. And now we should be able to make a pretty clean connection here. Right in there. And let's see, we're going to have a little cut here and then a little cut here. And that's totally fine. 75 miles an hour the whole way. That looks good to me. So now I want to branch off a little track here. Double this up. All the way down here, and then we'll do the same thing here. Just like that. And now we can establish a new line on here. And this is going to be, where is this? This is all in Brockton. So this is going to be Brockton uh, crude and oil. And let's see, at Brockton South, wait for a full load. For maybe six minutes. And then down here, I think you'll just take whatever they've got. And that should probably work. Because this is a two to one. Um, so we're not really going to get... We're not really going to have the ability to... I'm just going to put that in there.
Don't think we're going to have quite enough space for siding right there. So we'll add that back in. Let's think about where we could put a siding. I kind of want it to be somewhat integrated with this station. So if I maybe put it there. See if I can get a little bit more distance here. Can. So we'll grab a little bit more distance. And then we'll merge that in. We'll make this a double switch. And now if we come in here with a non-one-way signal. Put that right there. And now we want to signalize this whole thing. So if we put signal there. It's going to stop there. So let's try it from the other end, see where these line up. So we'll send a signal all the way down there. Those will run back, and then we'll put another signal in there. And then I'll shift these ones, so maybe... Maybe right there. Great. So now that's going to work. We'll add in one of our siding tracks down here. Then we'll branch that in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get a vehicle on here. So we're going to go with diesel. Um, 50 miles an hour. We'll probably go with one of these that get up to 65. Not that I really think it's going to get there. But for now, I think that that'll work. It might get to 65. Maybe. And now, let's get a stop here. So I want this to have two stops. Um, and you'll, you'll see why when I get this set up. So if we come in here. Maybe put that down right there. Configure this platform. I'm going to get an entrance in here. Maybe a building, just uh, for the for the looks of it, and then an exit in right here. Now, if we come in here, we can make these connections. Like that, and now we're also going to need a stop up here, and I think I might reroute this road so it's right in line with this intersection. Yeah, why don't we do that? So I'll break this road off just a little bit. We'll go kind of around this little hill here. And then we'll curve back in there. Okay, so now those can just shoot right across that intersection and come up to here. And now we can add a station in here, or a platform in here. And this only needs one stop. Let's see, I might actually throw it in like this. So I'll throw that in right there. And now we can set up a line like that. Maybe not. Brockton Annex down here to Brockton Central. There we go my filters and at let's see at Brockton Annex wait for full load forever before you head up there because I want them to get a full load of oil and then I want them to take whatever they've got coming back 
And then this will be Brockton. What are we moving here? Oil and fuel. And now this second stop, the second platform here, is going to be used to actually bring the fuel into town. So they're going to come in here. I might have them drop here. And then exit the city. So let's see if they kind of do this the way that I'm envisioning. Yeah, that's not bad. And I'll make this orange for uh, fuel. And I want these trucks to wait for a full load forever. And this will be Brockton fuel. Okay, so now let's get some trucks on here. And I'll probably just stick another depot in here. Maybe I'll put that in right there. Try and smooth this out a little bit. And now let's get some trucks on these lines. So we can use these tank trucks for all of this. So why don't we put maybe six on the... To move the uh, oil and the fuel. And maybe we'll put three to deliver the fuel. And now this is finally kicking off uh, because it's going to recognize the fuel refinery now that there's actually a line set up with vehicles on it. And we got a huge backup of trucks here. But we have a ton of fuel coming onto this platform. So 176. We might even be able to... Yeah. So why don't we bring this up to 180? And that tank truck now has one whole fuel in it. Outstanding. But we are starting to get some fuel down here on this platform. Not a ton yet. Um, but it's not nothing either. So I might honestly just go ahead and bring that up to full length. Bit preemptive. It's probably going to lose us a little bit of money for now. But... Uh, think it'll do what we want it to do. And we have yet to transport any of the oil, which makes sense because uh, this truck hasn't left yet. So now this will come down here. Let's see how it's doing for speed. It's not doing great, but it's definitely doing better than... Uh, if we had one of those other trains on there. But anyway. Alright guys. Uh, I think this is probably going to bring us to the end of the episode. Um, the reason that I'm saying that is, you know, if we kicked off another big project now, I think, I don't think we would have enough time to really get into it. Um... Man, Boston to Falmouth. <laughs> really quick, I want to check out that line. Boston to Falmouth. I think this train is max length. Yeah, it is. Because I think if I add in another... Yeah, it's too long. 133 capacity. We've got 461 here. We don't have a ton of people down here, but... So I don't think we can really justify getting a second train on there, but man, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of passengers. This did take a full load. But anyway, all right, guys, this is going to bring us to the end of the episode. We got a lot of stuff done. I'm really excited. Um, you know, I really enjoy this series. I hope you guys are too. Um, as I'm talking here, I'm probably going to come in here and add, you know, another bus to each of these lines because we got a lot of capacity on here. But I'm really excited for how this is going. And, you know, you guys know I really enjoy making this series. So if you guys are enjoying it and you made it all this way through this video, please subscribe. Uh, you know, it really motivates me to make a lot of, you know, good content. I hope you guys are enjoying it. 
And as always, comment below. Let me know how I'm doing, anything you want me to try out, do differently. And uh, like the video if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.